If the princess does not marry before the age of 18, the King Mountain Monster will kidnap her. Kristen is the name of this princess. And Kristen's father desired to marry her to a prince from another nation named Frederick. The marriage proposal, however, is turned down by Kristen. Her father tells her, it's your birthday tomorrow. And on the next day, you will be 18 years old. As a result, you'll have to marry. Kristen, on the other hand, does not agree with her father. She leaves her castle and travels to the woods. Also seen is a young boy named Espen who is the son of a poor guy. And he'd come to the jungle in search of sustenance. When he sees Kristen's horse, he becomes perplexed. In terror, he dives into the ocean. Kristen is there to assist him. Then Espen comes up to her and asks for the meal. And Kristen had such a large appetite here that she ate all of Espen's meal while she was monitoring her. After finishing her breakfast, Kristen walks away. After that, Espen tells her his name as she walks away. But Kristen departs, saying, thank you. She also refuses to tell him her name. When Espen arrives home, his father demands that he hand over the edibles. But Espen was left with only one apple. His father becomes enraged as a result of this. Following that, he sends Espen's other two siblings to the jungle to bring food. When Espen is alone at home late at night, he realizes that he is surrounded by monsters. After lighting a wire on fire, he starts spinning it. Because of the wiring, the entire house is now on fire. Espen manages to get away from there in some way. On the other hand, Kristen can be seen walking around the forest late at night. She hears the sound of something there at the same time. Her horse galloped in terror when she was knocked down. Then a gigantic creature appears and takes Kristen with her. When Espen's father arrives home, however, he notices that the entire house has been burned down. When he sees that, he becomes really concerned. And Espen informs him that it occurred as a result of a monster. I've seen it firsthand. After that, Prince Frederick and his entourage arrive. He also inquires about Kristen with Espen. Everyone dismisses him. Espen recognized the girl as Princess Kristen, whom he had met in the jungle. When Prince Frederick inquires about this, Espen is perplexed. Frederick had begun to suspect Espen at this point. He leans his blade against Espen. And he says, tell me about Kristen as soon as possible. Espen's father claims to have seen monsters and informs Frederick about it. And this makes Frederick and his companion giggle. This Espen still believes in legends from the past. Espen now asks Frederick a question, what will you do with Kristen? Frederick informs him that I'm going to marry Kristen. And after I marry her, I'll be the owner of her castle. After that, I'm going to kill her. And I'll reward the individual who assists me in my search for her. Following the departure of Frederick, Espen's father now pays money to both of his sons. He also adds we'll have to look for Kristen. We will be rewarded as a result of this. We can also rebuild our home. Espen then asks his father, what should he do? And Espen's father tells him, you are free to travel wherever you choose. Never come back here again. Espen feels dejected when he hears it. Despite his father's prohibitions, Espen follows his brothers. On his walk through the jungle, he comes across a mirror, which he maintains. The three of them then hear the voice of an elderly lady on the way. Who was it that asked for assistance? However, Espen's sibling is unconcerned about this. They continue on their way. But Espen is the only one who pursues this voice. Now Espen comes across a witch with a long nose on the way. She'd become ensnared in the woods. Espen is now assisting that witch. What are you doing here? That witch asks him. We have come to seek for the Princess Kristen, says Espen. And the witch informs him that the princess has been kidnapped by a mountain king monster. If you wish to save her, you only have one option, kill that monster. And that monster will be defeated by only one weapon, a magical sword. That's at the bottom of a brook. Espen inquires of the witch, where will I find that stream? The witch then provides him a magical map and tells him, you will discover the stream by traveling along this path. On the other hand, a guy approaches the king. And he tells him that the mountain monster has kidnapped his daughter, Princess Kristen. On the other hand, 
It is Espen's brothers who discover the golden apples along the road. And his two brothers pluck apples from the basket and devour them one by one. After that, when they finish eating those apples, some of the girls show up. They tell them, come along with us. And after being trapped by those girls' remarks, they both go with them. Espen, on the other hand, was following the map. While moving forward, the journey comes to an end. There's also a golden apple for Espen to find. That apple is consumed by Espen. As he eats, a cave door is opened. Espen has now entered the cave. He also finds his brother there. They're also eating with those gals. Then he is invited to a meal by a girl. However, Espen noticed that the meal had been replaced with a swarm of worms. Meanwhile, a young lady presents him with a golden apple. But Espen thought something was awry. So Espen acts as if he's eating an apple. And then he tosses the fruit to the ground. Because Espen had not eaten the apple, he had declared that he would observe the reality as a result of his refusal to consume it. All of those girls were witches. When Espen realizes the truth, he rescues his two brothers and brings them out of the cave. Then they are attacked by a witch. However, they emerge from the cave after being sheltered. On the way, Espen tells his siblings, there's the same enormous monster as there were these witches. It is not a legend, but a fact. Because the creature appears only at night. If it appears in broad daylight, it will be transformed to stone. On the other hand, Kristen, who was enslaved in a cave, is visible. And there was only one small exit out of the cave. It was extremely high. That creature now enters the cave with its hand through a hole there. He also offers Kristen some bones to eat. Kristen pretends to eat them and says, these are excellent. To the monsters. Espen and his brothers, on the other hand, are moving to a hotel while following that chart. In such motel, there was also a Frederick. They've arrived at the hotel. After that, Espen inquires about the magical map's method of obtaining a magical sword. Meanwhile, one of Frederick's companions threw a glance towards Espen. And when Frederick arrives at Espen, he asks Kristen. And Frederick asks Espen for the map. He also gives Espen some money. On this, Espen's brother tells him, Frederick, give that map to him. However, Espen stops Frederick from receiving the map. Frederick attacks Espen with a vengeance. And Espen smacks Frederick in the face with the dinner that has been set on the table. And a massive brawl ensues amongst them. Then Frederick's foot lands on one person's food. And this man erupts in wrath as a result of this conduct. And he tosses Frederick into the distance. Espen and his brother take advantage of the situation and flee the hotel. Frederick and his entourage, on the other hand, pursue Espen and his brothers. Espen and his siblings have arrived at a ditch. There were no other options for escaping. Espen and his two brothers now leap into the gully. Espen's brother then becomes involved with him. That it is happening as a result of your efforts. And Frederick has become our adversary. This is a point of contention between Espen and his brother. His other brother, though, intervenes and stops them both. They then proceed, taking the map from Espen. Then Espen comes across a bare skin on the road. He wanted to retain it, but his brothers told him he couldn't. Espen and his two brothers have arrived at a destination. There was a murky area where nothing was seen. Espen is unconcerned and takes a step ahead. Now Espen and his both brothers are split. As Espen's brothers are separated from him, Frederick and his attendant catch them. They also inquire about Espen. Both of Espen's brothers lie here, claiming that Espen has dead. That stream, on the other hand, had been discovered by Espen. Now he moves into the stream, bringing his blade out of the water. When he returns with the blade, he runs into his brothers on the road. Frederick had apprehended who. Frederick now possessed the map as well. Now, dressed in bare skin, Espen goes to scare them. And this is something that everyone is frightened of. Because he was wearing the bare skin, Espen didn't seem to notice anything. She is knocked down as a result of this. Frederick now realizes that he is Espen. Frederick now asks him how to get to the Mountain King monster. On this, Espen asks him, what will you do after saving Kristen? Frederick tells him, 
I've already told you that, all I need now is Kristen's castle. After that, I'm going to kill her. When they are eating there at night, they hear a voice. As a result, Frederick and his companions flee the scene. Espen and his brother began to flee the area as well. The beast known as the Mountain King had arrived. It takes one of Frederick's servants as a victim. On the other hand, Espen seeks refuge in a cave with his brothers. And the Mountain King monster appears, capturing Frederick and Espen's brother. Coming here, Frederick is terrified. When he sees Princess Kristen in the cave, he tells her, I've come here to save you. Espen's brother, on the other hand, tells Kristen everything. He informs Kristen that Frederick is a liar. After the marriage, he will murder you. And all he wants is your castle. After hitting a bone on the head, Kristen knows what he's doing and knocks Frederick down. Kristen now asks him, who are you? He claims that I am Espen's brother in this. Kristen smiles when she hears it. Will Espen come to our rescue, she wonders? Don't worry, Espen's brother assures Kristen. Espen will come to our rescue. Espen and his sibling are shown on the other side. Who collects fireflies and puts them in a glass bottle. They also use it as a light source. Those individuals then entered the Mountain King monster's cave. And there were numerous options. Now they move to a place, selecting a path. Espen's foot gets stuck in a hole when they're walking down the trail. With his sword, he hangs into the same hole. From the same hole, he sees his brother and Kristen. After that, Espen uses a rope to pull both of them upward. After that, he saves them all. When they were almost out of the cave, that mountain king monster was sleeping on the way out. They're all jumping on his tail now, but they're not waking it up. Now Frederick is perplexed, and he falls down on the monster's tail. That mountain king monster has been reawakened as a result of this. Now everyone had converged towards the cave. As a result, the mountain king monster is unlikely to attack them. It also occurs to them after they've climbed. Espen now uses his sword to try to destroy the mountain king monster. That mountain monster slashes backwards with his sword. All of you must now attack the mountain king monster. However, that mountain monster is unharmed as a result of the onslaught. And then he goes ahead and eats them all. But, in a short while, the morning would arrive. And there was only one way to dispatch the mountain monarch. Espen now takes the same mirror from his bag that he had discovered in the jungle. He now mirrors the mountain monster in this mirror. Orienting it in the direction of the sun. Because of the reflection, the mountain monster has turned to stone. As he falls, it is destroyed. On the other hand, Frederick sees the same witch. Frederick tells the witch, you are evil. He inquires about his castle's location, but the witch leads him astray. The next scene shows Espen and Kristen arriving at the castle. And the king and queen are overjoyed at the sight of their daughter. They are overjoyed that Espen and his siblings were able to save their daughter. Following that, Espen and his two brothers return to their home. After witnessing three of them, their father exhales a sigh of relief. He also apologizes to Espen, and Espen returns all of the money he was granted to his father. As a result, he is ecstatic, and they all begin to restore their home together afterwards. At the same time, Kristen is making her way towards them. Kristen is now accompanying Espen into the woodland. On the other hand, Frederick is seen, who got lost in the forest due to the witch's deception. Frederick